We continue to report on important mainstream investors, professional and private, who have warned about an impending global financial catastrophe. Now, add Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe to that list. George Soros, Stanley Drunkenmiller, and Carl Icahn, among others, have all made dire statements. They've also reconfigured their portfolios and taken positions in gold and silver and shorted the market. The latest to join this list of doomsayers is Japanese Prime Minister Abe. This past Thursday, at the G7 meeting, he warned about the upcoming global crisis. Abe was trying to generate support for global fiscal stimulus, according to reports. He told G7 members that the present times reminded him of the post Lehman era in 2008. Lehman went bankrupt in September of that year, and by 2009, stock markets lost as much as half of their value. He even displayed a number of charts supporting his position that we are on the cusp of a massive collapse. He showed how commodities have now sunk 55%, the exact same amount they fell during the last crisis, during the Shemitah year, 2008. He also showed how indicators in emerging market growth have slowed to near 2008 levels as well. Abe wanted the rest of the G7 to issue a public warning about what he believes is going to happen to his country and to the world from an economic standpoint. Instead, Abe's comments received a near-media blackout. Some media mentioned it, but certainly not as headline news. We didn't even hear about it until today, five days later. You'd think this would be pretty big news. The Prime Minister of one of the biggest economies in the world just made a presentation saying we are on the brink of collapse not only in Japan, but worldwide, and it was mostly swept under the rug. Imagine if Barack Obama made a dire plea at the G7 that everyone should prepare for economic Armageddon and even brought up facts and data to support his position. It'd send world stock markets plunging. Instead, Barack touts that anyone saying the US economy is doing poorly is peddling fiction. But when the Japanese Prime Minister says it, it's barely reported. There's a reason. The same globalist elites who are orchestrating the coming collapse own all the major media companies. They don't want Joe the Plumber and Main Street to get an inkling that something is wrong until it is too late, just like in 2008. It makes perfect sense within the context of what we understand about Shemitah Trans and Jubilee 2016. As Jubilee 2016 is a year meant to put the building blocks of global government into place. The last thing G7 leaders want is to overly alarm people and thus come under pressure to prepare for an economic catastrophe. The idea is not to prepare for economic catastrophe. It could be that Abe's role was to warn leaders and thus generate headlines that would show discussions at the highest levels. The IMF and the World Bank have also warned of an impending crisis, even Alan Greenspan. They'll point to that after the collapse to say they warned everyone, but none of these warnings get picked up in a meaningful way in the media. Now if an ape gets shot after a zombified mother accidentally drops her toddler into a gorilla cage, well now that's news that everyone must preoccupy themselves with. But the coming biblical-level economic collapse that Jim Rogers says could wipe out millions of Americans? No need to focus on that. For this reason, most people will be blindsided by the collapse, just like they were in 2008. Some people won't be, however. Many of them are subscribers to the Dollar Vigilante newsletter. Not only will they be more prepared to survive the coming chaos, but many have already enriched themselves by positioning in our recommended investments and trades in precious metals, gold stocks, Bitcoin, and more. You might be thinking it's too late, like this new subscriber who posted in our subscribers-only Facebook group. But as you can see, one subscriber responded that it is never too late, although I don't know how much longer we'll be able to say that. That's one of the great things about being a Dollar Vigilante subscriber, though is that you get access to a group of thousands of others who have already begun to take action to protect their future, and many of them are very happy to help those new to the group who may need some hand-holding or specialized advice. Plus, we offer plenty of resources to those who are new to investing in precious metals, cryptocurrencies, and gold mining stocks, like our Beginner's Guide to Investing, free to subscribers. We've built all those resources over the last six years because we knew this time was coming. 
and we knew people would desperately need these resources as they simply won't get them from the mainstream media nor from their Wall Street broker or government registered financial advisors. Every day now, big name investors, economists, and now even prime ministers are warning of a coming catastrophe that will wipe out the worldwide economy, most banks, and even entire countries. And all the resources you need to not only survive it, but prosper through it, are right here at dollarvigilante.com slash subscribe.